a series of small packages, each with a mass of 0.5 kg, are discharged from a conveyor belt as shown. Knowing that the coefficient of static friction between each package and the conveyor belt is 0.4, so mu s is equal to 0.4, determine the angle theta at point B here, where the packages first slip relative to the belt. So we are concerned about the package at point B, which is after angle theta. And this is where we are going to have our equations of motion. So by having our free body diagram and the kinetic diagram, we can see the following. We have a normal force towards the center of the disc. We have the weight, which is vertical down at an angle theta. And we have the friction force. And note here that the static friction is where the packages first slip or the packages start to slip. So when slipping starts, this means that we have just reached the maximum static friction and my friction force now is mu s times n. Since the velocity is constant at 1 meters per second, the tangential acceleration will be zero, but the normal acceleration will be v squared over rho, which is 1 squared over 0.25 or 4 meters per second square. Let's start by the normal equation. So we have the summation of forces in this direction equals man. We have n as negative, mg cosine theta as positive, equals to ma times n. This results in the variable n, or the normal, as a function of theta. And if we keep this equation and look at the summation of forces in the tangential direction, we will find the following. We have mu s times n in the negative direction. We have the component of mg, which is sine theta, in the positive direction. And this is equal to zero because a tangential is equal to zero. And it results in n as also a function of theta. So basically we have two equations and two unknowns. And if we take n from this first equation and substitute it in the second, we will get this equation. But how do we solve this? Simply, you can take the square of both sides. So if we take the square of this side, you will get sine square theta here. And if you take the square of this side, you will have a quadratic equation and cosine theta. So this side becomes cosine square theta and another component with cosine theta and another number. And if you remember from the trigonometry, sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to 1. So you can replace sine square theta with 1 minus cosine square theta. And in this case, all the variables here in this equation are in terms of cosine theta. And if you do that and rearrange, you will get this quadratic equation in cosine theta. So you just need to substitute cosine theta as like x, for example, and then solve this equation x squared minus 0.1125x minus 0.839 equals to 0. And if you do that, you will find that x or cosine theta will be equal to 0.974, and this leads to theta is equal to 13.09 degrees. Thank you.